hey, what do you say? Let's do a story time today. Hi, this is Diana from ABC Storytime at the Bangor Public Library. And today we're going to do the letter S for shells. So, I'm going to put up my ABC puzzle and we're going to sing the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I've sung my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Now does anybody out there know what letter shells begins with? Because that's a tricky one because we're saying sh and not su. So I'm going to take out the letter S, as you can see, and it's the color green. Now, on my shirt, I have a sand dollar. I have shells. I have a starfish. And I have a... S that's it. All of these you can find at the sea here in Maine. So first of all, I'm going to hold up my shell. Isn't this beautiful? And I'm going to hold it to my ear. I can hear an echo. And I can hear the sound vibrating. Just like this little boy is in Can You Hear the Sea? Can you hear the sea by Judy Cumberbatch, published by Bloomsbury Books? So, later on, if you have a show like this at home, you need to hold it up to your ear and see if you can hear the sea. On Saturday, Sarah's grandpa went into town. Before he left, he gave Sarah a shell, pink and orange and green. It was the loveliest shell she had ever seen. It's a magic shell, said Grandpa. If you listen, you will hear the sea. Will he really, asked Sarah. Oh, yes, said Grandpa. Don't you believe all that nonsense, said Grandma, as she braided Sarah's hair. But Sarah didn't listen to her. Grandpa knew about everything. He could tell the time by the sun knew when the rains would come, and never, ever told a lie. On Sunday, Sarah put the shell to her ear, listened on the way to church, but all she heard was Reverend Johnson praying, Kofi playing the drums and singing, and Grandma humming. On Monday, Sarah listened to her shell, by the river, and Grandma did the washing. But what she heard was water splashing, Grandma beating out the sheets, and the clothes flip-flapping in the wind. On Tuesday, Sarah and Grandma went to the market. Sarah listened to her shell as she walked between the stalls. But what she heard was Mr. Victor's sewing machine click clacking, Mrs. Nancy's tongue yak yakking, and the market mammy's haggling all day long. On Wednesday, Sarah listened to the shell as she walked with Grandma to the farm. But what she heard was monkeys chattering, bananas trees swish swishing, and mangoes plopping, but not the sound of the sea. Perhaps Grandma got it. Grandpa got it wrong, she said sadly. On Thursday, Grandma turned the house upside down as Sarah was busy with the sweeping and the cleaning. When Sarah listened to the shell, in the evening, all she heard was plantain sizzling, pepper stew sput sputtering, and Grandma snoring. On Friday, Sarah went to beat Grandpa. The taxes tooted, water cells shouted, buses hooted, and Grandpa came. That's some silly shell, she told him. I've listened and listened and heard everything but the sea. 
On Saturday, Grandpa and Sarah sat under the mango tree. Sarah held the shell to her hair. Tell me what you hear, Grandpa said. Sarah listened. Boys playing soccer, she said. Listen, said Grandpa. The next door neighbor's baby screaming, cried Sarah. I can't hear the sea. Quiet, said Grandpa. Now, close your eyes and this time listen to what the she tells. shell tells. Sarah put the shell to her ear, closed her eyes and listened. After at first, she could hear was Grandpa's breathing. Then as she listened, louder and louder came the sound of water crashing, waves pounding, pebbles rattling, surf hissing, and the sea's huge roar on the wide sea shore. I can hear it, Sarah said. I can hear the sea. Didn't I tell you? Grandpa smiling. The end. Now I'm going to show you some shells I have right here. These are mussel shells. People eat mussels. I don't care for them. So later on I'm going to show you what I did with these mussel shells. Actually the Indians, Native Americans, used these for trading. It was called wampum. Crabby Crab by Chris Rashka. Edited, published by Abrams. Crabby Crab. Crabby Crab has two powerful claws. He wants fingers instead. Crabby Crab has eight beautiful legs. He says they're ridiculous. Crabby Crab only walks sideways. Crabby Crab wants to walk straight ahead. Crabby Crab, we love you just the way you are. Even when you're crabby, Crabby Crab. Now, if you go down to the ocean, you can look under piles of seaweeds and you can find green crabs. And it is so much fun. But you know what? You've got to watch out. They don't pinch you right there. So I'm going to sing you a song. So when I say pinch, 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 you're going to do this. And when I say click, 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 you're going to do this. Here we go. The lobster in the seas go pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch, 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 the lobsters in the sea go pinch, 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 all day long. The crabs in the sea go click, 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 the crabs in the sea go click, 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 all day long. Now I have one more book about a crab, and this is Clumsy Crab. This is a new book we have by Ruth Galloway, and it's published by Tiger Tales, which is one of my favorite publishers. Nipper, what a funny name. Nipper the crab didn't like his huge clumsy claws at all. Snip, snip, clap, clap. No matter what he did, they always got in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly arms like octopus, or tentacles like sea jelly, or even flipper fins like turtle and the fish. One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Pop! His clumsy claws burst the bubble. They couldn't play that game anymore, so they played tag instead. Nipper Scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. What do you think happened? Whoa! Nipper slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled, until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. 
turtle came to dig him out. Everyone decided to play hide and seek. Nipper climbed into a big clamshell and pulled it shut. It was the perfect hiding place until... <gasps> Smash! Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch! He cried, help! Sea Jelly picked up the pieces of shell. If I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything and I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, Nipper, said the others. We'll hide and you can find us. Nipper counted to ten, then set off to find his friends. He scuttled through the sand and found Turtle. And he searched up and down and in and out and all around the rocks. But he couldn't find octopus anywhere. Suddenly he everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Octopus squirmed and wiggled and wriggled and jiggled. Turtle and sea jelly tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. I'll give you a few seconds to think. What do you think his idea was? Are you ready? <gasps> Nipper snipped at the seaweed with his claws, just like a pair of scissors. Fast and fast, and Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed, snipping and snapping, clipping and clapping. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. Octopus was finally free. He's a hero. Thank you, Nipper. You're a clever crab. He cheered Nipper, waved his hand, claws happily. At least he knew how useful they could be. Here we go. That is clumsy incredible. I have one more song. Here we go. Mr. Lobster and Mrs. Crab pinch and snap all day. Mr. Lobster, Mr. Crab, pinch and snap all day. With a pinch, pinch here and a snap, snap, snap. Here, pinch, there, pinch, everywhere, snap, snap. Mr. Lobster, Mrs. Crab, pinch and snap all day. Mr. Lobster, Mrs. Crab, pinch and snap all day. Mr. Lobster, Mrs. Crab, pinch and snap all day. With a pinch, pinch here and a snap, snap there. Here, pinch, there, pinch, everywhere, spin, pinch, pinch, there, pinch, I'm Mr. Crab, pinch and snap all day. Now, you probably wonder what I was going to do with those mussel shells. Well, a friend of mine showed me this. She felt that they actually look like a whale swimming in the sea. If I was at Cape Cod once and I could see the whales out on the horizon, and this is just what they look like. So, here's what I did. I took a blue piece of paper and I held it landscape wide. And then I took a paintbrush and I got my blue paint out and I went. I got my Elmer's glue and I took my muscle shell and I put it up here at the top of the paper. And here's my black magic marker. And I made this pout. And I made the tail. And now there is a bustle, the whale swimming in the sea. Well, thank you for watching. And next week I'm going to tell you about a special horse named Twister.